Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today on VRL. Um, so you're joining Rail Plus, and this is Nikki, and we are going to learn all about Canadian Rail System today. As always, I have Blaze assisting me, so if you guys do have any questions during the webinar, please send them through to Blaze, and he'll either respond straight away or just send them through to me so I can answer loud. Um, just a reminder, this webinar will be available after, so we'll send you guys the link with the um, link for the video as well as any question and answers, and of course you can always access it via either the agent resources area on the website, you can get the slides from the Google Drive, or you can watch it again via YouTube if you don't have speakers on your computer. So let's get into learning about VRL. VRL, VRL, everyone says something different, go with either. I think both work. So the first good thing about VRL is that it does open 11 months in advance. So it is something that we can book very early before the clients travel. This is the route map of the VRL journeys. So we first of all have the uh, Trans-Canada route on the Canadian, which is the red line, and that one goes from Vancouver all the way through to Toronto. You've got your Canadian Rockies, which is just a segment of that route between Vancouver, Kamloops, Jasper and Edmonton. The Manitoba area is Winnipeg to Churchill, where you can access the uh, Tundra Buggy Polar Bear Tours, the Beluga Whales and the Northern Lights. However, that line is currently not operating. So right now we are not able to book it. There were um, some issues with the line and I had to wait for it to defreeze. But so right now we cannot book that segment. Um, we can, however, still book the flight as part of the Churchill Polar Bear Tundra Buggy experiences so that we can still book that one. We just wouldn't be able to get the train up there. The eastern cities, obviously a lot more lines and connections and borders. So all the way from Niagara Falls through Toronto, Montreal around to Quebec, and then you've got the ocean which goes out to Nova Scotia to Halifax. There is also the route between Jasper and Prince Rupert. Um, this does stop overnight in Prince George and clients do have to arrange accommodation. It's not included in the price. They can't stay on the train. So they'll go between Jasper and Prince George and then they'll overnight there and then go through to um, Prince Rupert. So it's almost like a mini Rocky Mountaineer type of itinerary. We have the Canadian. So the Canadian is by far the most popular train that we offer. It's between Vancouver and Toronto and it's currently a four-night, three-day itinerary. Um, so it has had a couple of changes over this year with timetables and scheduling. It's currently three times a week in peak season, which is between May to October and twice a week during the off season. So unlike Rocky, the VRL does travel during the winter months as well. So we call that the snow train. So that during November and April, um, we have the snow train to Jasper and then we have the, the snow train package as well. There are some schedule changes. So earlier on this year, there was a little bit of an issue with the freight trains delaying the Canadian. So obviously the Canadians got quite a fair distance to travel. Freight trains do get priority. So unfortunately, if a freight train was coming up behind the Canadian, the Canadian would have to pull to the side, let the freight train pass, and then go back onto the tracks when it could. So this meant some huge delays earlier on this year. To combat that, from July, VRL changed the schedule to a, a morning departure from Vancouver. It meant that they were in a pocket that they could access a better network, but it did mean that the Canadian Rockies and the mountains, you were travelling through the night during that section. So it wasn't a great change. <laughs> um, but in good news, from April, we will be going back to a new schedule. So the departure will be from 5pm from Vancouver. This means that they will get Mount Robson and Pyramid Falls and all those big attractions during the day. Um, the scheduling will be two times a week between Vancouver and Toronto, and then it'll be an extra departure between Vancouver and Edmonton. So they'll still have three departures on the major section of the route, which is Vancouver to Jasper, or Vancouver to Edmonton. Um, there will still be three services operating, but only two that will continue through to Toronto. So obviously, um, this is a much better schedule than the current situation. They will still be able to get to see a bit of, um, you know, leaving Vancouver on the rail, and then it'll be through night through Cam Loops, and then they'll wake up in the morning and they'll have that amazing view of the mountains they'll get to see for the remainder of the journey until they arrive into Jasper or Edmonton. 
The classes on board the Canadian, so there's a couple of options. The first one are your economy, um, so the economy seats that are there on the picture on the left. So they're reclining seats with large windows. The economy seats do have access to the Skyline car, um, but they do need to purchase light meals, snacks and beverages. So um, ideal, obviously, if you've got any travellers that are happy sitting up in a seat or if they're doing a short section of the itinerary. There's also the berth. So the berths are actually in the sleeper cabin, but they're semi-private. So what semi-private means, they're two couches by day that face each other, and then at night the beds fold out. So these don't have to be um, people knowing each other in these two beds. You can book either the upper or the lower berth. You can actually select which one you would like, the lower berth being a little bit cheaper. But when the beds fold out, all they have for privacy is that small curtain that covers the, um, the bed to the aisle. So it's not a secure cabin. There is an area that they can put their bags and they would of course have the shared bathroom facilities. The next classes we have are our Sleeper Plus. So when you're looking on the Rail Plus website, you'll see Economy in one tab and then you'll see your Sleeper in the next tab. So the cabin for one is a seat. Um, it has a concealed toilet and vanity that sort of folds out. And then at night, the bed folds out. So at night, the bed does fold on top of the toilet. So they will have to use the shared facilities, but they are in their carriage. Um, this cabin for one is a good option, obviously for anyone who's traveling by themselves, um, but it's a, also a good option for your solo travellers and it's a good option if you've got two people travelling together and they're not so keen on the upper berth of the cabin for two because it's the same price and they can both get that lower bed. Um, the showers would be shared in the carriage and they would have access to that. The cabin for two is also in the same um, carriage as well. So cabin for two are two couches, two armchairs and then the beds fold out at night. They have a vanity and an ensuite toilet in their cabin, and then of course shared shower. All these Sleeper Plus cabins as well do have meals included in their fare. We then have the family suites. So these are ideal for groups of four. Um, a family suite consists of two combined cabin for twos with the joining wall removed. Also another good option if you've got two people who want to do the cabin for twos, but both want lower berths. We can just not fold the upper bed out, basically. So the family suites, essentially, the lower berths would have a small gap between them. Um, there are also a very limited amount of cabin for threes. Um, so we haven't included that on here, but if you've got someone asking about that, do just let us know. But because there's only one of them, it's, they're quite hard to actually book. The Canadian also offers a class called Prestige. So Prestige is uh, the newest offering. It came out in 2014, so it's pretty new. The cabin is 50% larger than the cabin for two. So during the day, it's an L-shaped lounge. The window is also 50% larger. And then at night, the double bed folds out. So they do have that full double bed. They've got that awesome view out the window, wake up in the morning, roll up the blinds, stare at the mountain, what's better? So the room also has private shower and toilet. They've got a, a flat screen monitor that they can watch um, videos on that are loaded onto the TV. And then they've also got their mini bar in the room as well as priority seating in the dining car and their dedicated concierge. The Prestige car also has their own Prestige lounge. So the Prestige lounge would be seats downstairs and then they have access to their own uh, viewing car. So basically because of the numbers of seats in that viewing car and the numbers of beds, they're pretty much always guaranteed a seat in their dome car. So the cars that are on offer, there's the Panorama car. So this is between May to October. It's essentially a full carriage of seats. So you can see there the full dome windows. Um, it's accessible by Sleeper Plus and Prestige passengers, and it only operates between Vancouver and Edmonton. The Skyline car operates all year round and throughout the whole route, and it's an upstairs seating area. So there's roughly about 24 seats up there. Um, there, it is above a cafe. So they have lounge seats downstairs, cafe, and then you go up some stairs and that's where you can access the dome. They're pretty good during the off peak. If this is full, they will sort of say to people like, okay, stay out for a while, now move through so everyone gets the chance. And they'll also have commentary information, wildlife talks and stuff up in the, this area as, as well. Some of the popular journeys that we have. So of course, Rail Plus do have access to um, not only the packages on our website, which I believe there's 13 of, but we also have a wide variety of products and hotels, accommodation sites in that we can book. So while we do have a couple of packages up on the website, just keep in mind that our Great Train Journey team can tailor make anything to suit your client's needs. We can do 
via route one way, Rocky Mountaineer on the way back. We can take a Rocky package and sub the via rail and book those components separately. Um, we can do via rail one way coach on the way back. So just depending what they're after. We can also do East Coast packages as well. So including Niagara Falls and sightseeing and accommodation down there. So these two, the Snow Train to the Rockies is obviously by far our most popular package in the winter. It operates at a seven and day, six night package. So they'll go between Vancouver and Jasper. They'll then do their transfer down to Lake Louise through to Banff and Calgary. And it'll include things like wildlife tours, sleigh rides in Lake Louise, ice skating in Lake Louise. And it's a really affordable way to visit Lake Louise is by winter and they can stay at the Fairmont hotels. Our most popular summer package is the Mountains, Lakes and Glaciers. And this is a dupe for Rocky Mountaineers Journey Through the Clouds Explorer, or it's essentially a very similar setup. So again, seven days, six nights, Vancouver to Jasper via Rail, down to Lake Louise, Banff and Calgary. They will be doing the Brewster Day Tours. So they'll have their stop-offs along the way. They'll have their driver slash guide with commentary. And then they'll have their choice of accommodation of three, four or five star properties. Over on the East Coast, we have the Ocean and the Corridor Services. Um, the Ocean is the Montreal to Halifax service, so it is an overnight. It does have a very similar setup to the Canadian, but there's no prestige car. So you've got your um, cabin for two on there, as well as the economy seats. Um, we then have the corridor, and these are basically just our economy and our business class offerings that connect their all day trains. So from Niagara through to Montreal, you can obviously also connect through to New York as well, and whether you can access, um, need to access Amtrak fares, but you can also get between New York and Niagara and then connect rail through that way. So with Via Rail, they have a great offering in the East Coast, um, hitting up a lot of the major cities there. Um, so our Great Train Journey Department does book all of our Canada. And we basically just found it was easier because you cannot book uh, Canada through the live system or through the booking system. You do have to call or email to make a booking. You can get all the information off the website, your lead-in fares, your itineraries, your cabin information, all of that stuff is there. But we did move everything through to the Great Trains Journeys Department just to keep it more streamlined. So as always, there's the direct phone number and the direct email address. We can tailor make anything. You'll deal with the same person from start to finish. The guys are very experienced in Canada. Um, most of them have been on one of the trains. Um, and of course, your packages don't have to include rails. So there's a really awesome package that we offer called Gardens and Grapes. And it's from Banff back to Vancouver, visiting wineries and different gardens along the way. So um, plenty of options, plenty of stuff that we can do different areas. If you obviously have any questions, just chat to the guys, let them know. They will be able to send through PDFs and stuff, you know, certain packages. And then if that doesn't fit, we'll just tweak it from there. We also have a wide variety of unique experiences. So there are a number of sightseeing products on the website that you can book your standard sightseeing, such as Granville Island foodie tours in Vancouver or bike rides around Stanley Park, whale watching tours, Bouchard Gardens. But we also have a number of um, often smaller suppliers that we work with as well. So we do Yukon Northern Lights tours. We do the grizzly bear tours, the salmon fishing. We have that product up in uh, Churchill with the tundra buggy polar bear experiences, which is pretty amazing. It's like a train goes out on the frozen tundra and the bears essentially come all the way up to the safari style cars. They're way too high for the bears to reach the passengers obviously, but lots of great options for Canada. So this is just a snapshot of our team. So you've got the five Great Train Journey staff. Um, so Alicia, Katie, Crystal, Valerie and Clem. And you can basically call and speak to them. But obviously, yeah, once you've called, we like to keep that booking with the same person from start to finish. It obviously helps with our guys. They already know what you're talking about. And it helps with you not having to repeat information. Um, so we've got some questions coming through. Keep sending them through if you would like. And then in between questions, I'll just add some extra info. So the question, the main differences between Rocky Mountaineer and Via Rail. So the Rocky Mountaineer is an all daylight service. So between Vancouver and Jasper, you'll go Vancouver to Kamloops, overnight in a hotel, come back to the train the next day and then through to Jasper. Via Rail does that as an overnight. So they'll leave Vancouver with the new schedules after April at 5 p.m. They'll travel through the night and then they'll arrive into Jasper the next morning. Obviously, it's a little bit of a different setup with your meals and um, your different offering, but basically anything post from there, we can offer with either Via Rail or Rocky Mountaineer. So if you have clients who, um, you know, think that they do 
want to do the VRAL and they're not that much bothered by Rocky, then great. We can still match it up with the same hotels, sightseeing, all the rest of it. Um, but that's probably the main thing is that Rocky is that all daylight service and VRAL is not. Obviously, Rocky Mountaineer as well does go through to um, via Kamloops down to Banff and Lake Louise. And you have that third route around the top via Whistler and Quesnel down to Jasper. So there are three routings offered with Rocky Mountaineer and only the one with VRAL. Um, in terms of traveling between Jasper back to Vancouver, my sort of like what I think is that um, the timing is not great to be able to see those major sort of sites. So if somebody is interested in doing Jasper back to Vancouver by via rail, it's going to be more as a rail experience, not as a rocky substitute. If you guys have any questions about that, just ring our guys and let them know. So sometimes that eastbound via rail route is definitely the better for um, the sightseeing experience. But at the end of the day, the Rockies are once you're in the Rockies. So it's a great way to get there by rail. There's amazing sites along the way. Um, but if you have any questions about maybe which direction is preferred or which option is better for your clients, just speak to the guys in the office and I'm sure they can help with that. Um, so just some updates. So we have, of course, our weekly newsletter um, now, which is our specials newsletter. I just wanted to make sure you guys are receiving it. Um, we sort of sent out one to say subscribe now, um, but you do have to resubscribe to that. So it comes out on a Wednesday. It's not designed to be a lot of reading. It's not a full newsletter. It's just dot points of any promos that are in the market. We started doing this because we had some promos which may only go for like one or two weeks. And if we are waiting for our next newsletter, it may be too late. So just make sure you guys have subscribed to our weekly newsletter. You can do that via the MyRail Plus tools into the agent resources and you'll see the button on the bottom right hand side. Um, I'll also maybe get Blaze to add it in in, into the recap. So pretty much everything I talk about will be in the recap email as well. Um, the other thing is the Swiss Pass Superstar. So the Swiss training does end tomorrow. So in order to secure yourself a chance to win a spot on the Famille and earn the 100 points towards our total rail expert training, you will have to complete those modules by tomorrow. Um, you can access the Swiss Pass Superstar in the same area you can get to any of our training. So under the specials tab, and um, into the training one. So just the girl sitting on the laptop, just click in there and you'll see all the training links. While we're talking about training, don't forget we do have our RAL Expert Great Train Journey program. So we've had so far Australia, New Zealand, US, and there is also a whole module on Canada. Um, and we've actually released today our Africa module. So you can learn a bit more about the uh, Africa with Rovis RAL and the Blue Train. Um, we have the Count the Beds competition ending tomorrow. So the Count the Beds goes towards our, um, it's a, to launch our new brochure. So there's two Swiss passes and a $500 gift card of your choice up for grabs. All you've got to do is go through the new Great Train Journey brochure, count how many beds you can find. So not couches, we're actually looking for made up beds. Email it off to the competition's email by tomorrow and a very easy way to have your groceries paid off for the next month. Um, but if you need the links to that, that's also in the specials tab. If you don't already have the Great Train Journey brochure, you can see an e-brochure version there as well. Um, so we've just had another couple of questions. Um, so Rocky, yeah, so someone's just Larry up in Queensland, our Queensland rep. Thanks, Larry. He's forever keeping me in check. So Rocky really is, yeah, a four-star product, VRL isn't. So Rocky is a la carte dining in gold leaf. It's, you know, sit-down meals, um, Michelin-trained chefs. It's that full... In bring drinks to you at your seat. So it is a little bit of a different product. I guess, again, it probably just comes back to qualifying your clients as to what they are after. Um, and there's options we can look at with Rocky. You know, if maybe Gold Leaf's not for them in terms of their budget, we can do Silver Leaf with Rocky Mountaineer, but then Gold Leaf on the train. So they would have the four-star hotels with them on Lake Louise, but then they could do Gold Leaf on the train. And that's only about an extra 770 on top of the Silver Leaf package. Um, so someone just asked, can you hop off and on the train from Vancouver to Toronto? Is it a direct ticket? Um, so we definitely can do individual segments. So any of the stopovers we can ticket to. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention before is that with prestige class, you can only do prestige class if you're doing a minimum of two nights on board. So they can go between Vancouver and Jasper, but they wouldn't be able to book prestige. And then from Jasper to Toronto, they could book prestige. But yeah, definitely Vancouver. Um, Kamloops, Jasper, Winnipeg, um, and then 
anywhere along the line there through to Toronto, we can do it as individual tickets. At some of the stops, they may give the clients a certain amount of time. It wouldn't be something that I would range a sightseeing product for, but in Winnipeg, they have to refill, they have to refill the water, they have to wash all the windows. So um, I know the one of the guys in the office, they got told, okay, we've got a, an hour and a half here. If you're not back in time, we'll leave without you. Um, but that gave them enough time just to sort of run to the chemist and pick up a couple of things and you know go to the shops and get some snacks if they wanted to or whatever else they needed to buy there. So there are, is a little bit of time in some of the stations to get off the train, um, but it's not like a full sort of day tour where the train waits for the clients. Yeah, um, if anyone else has any other questions, feel free to send them through. Um, of course, with Rocky Mountaineer as well, we do currently have the Peaks and Perks offer. So that is also in the specials tab with all the info. You can also get the downloadable flyer that you can add your details and give it to the client. So that's for Rocky Mountaineer and it's up to $800 in added value per couple to spend on extras for eight days or more itineraries. And for five to seven days, they get $500 per couple to spend on sightseeing, accommodation, transfers towards a cruise or meal plans. Perfect. Oh, Blaze is sending. Nope. Okay. So we don't have any more questions. Um, so thank you everyone so much again for tuning in. Um, as always, we'll send out that email with all the links and everything you need. Just Keep an eye on the specials tab because we do have a lot of things going on at the moment, a lot of chances to win, a lot of training, um, all that stuff's on there. So yeah, just check that out. Um, we've just had one quick question. So can we book extra land arrangements through Rail Plus, do transfers, day tours, etc.? Of course. So we can do all your transfers. Um, we can do all those sightseeing products. So in the sightseeing tab, you'll see Canada area, but all the main things. And then we can always course tailor make and piece packages together. So if they want to do the maiden in the mist in um, Niagara, I think it's called, um, we can book that. If they want to do hop on off buses, if they want to do um, Granville Island foodie tour is always a big favorite. I know I've mentioned that before, but everyone who does that absolutely loves it. We can do a float plane out to um, Victoria and then a boat back so they can do the plane and then do almost like a semi whale watching tour on the way home. Um, so that's an option as well. Yeah. What's a product in Canada? Perfect. Well, thank you everyone again so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has an excellent Thursday. And if you are in Victoria, a fabulous long weekend. Um, and I look forward to doing our webinar next month. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a great day.